Hey guys, Big Bertie again, and today I want to take you back to my childhood, all the way back to 1991, when I was just six years of age, and these amazing figures known as Hero Gladiators, released by Bluebird Toys of Mighty Max and Polly Pocket fame. Now, before I start showcasing these figures, let me just tell you a quick story. Back when these first were released, I actually had to go into hospital as a little boy for an operation and I can vividly remember my mum bringing these Hero Gladiators in in a little ice cream tub that I used to keep them in, collect them in and I remember sitting on the hospital bed playing with these so these have really really strong memories for me didn't have them all back then but I had probably about five or six of them and then over the years I decided to add to the collection and what I have here is pretty much one of each figure released. Um, I think I did see one figure that somebody had that I don't currently have. But I don't know too much information about that particular figure. Because as far as I was aware, I had each of the figures released. Some of the figures did come in uh, different colour variations. Depending on whether you got them in their blister packs or whether you got them with a play set. One in particular would be this guy here, whose name is Striker. You could also get Striker in a red armour variant rather than just the blue variant. If my memory serves me as well, this guy here was one that came with the playset. It was sort of like a Colosseum almost type playset and you battled against each other. Now the idea behind Bluebird's Hero Gladiator figures is that not only were they great to collect but you could also battle with them so if I use this guy here his name was Attilak you could remove the figure from its base place it there and I'll also battle him against uh, let's go for this guy Mantrax and put Mantrax next to him like so but then their bases became sort of like um, a pair of dice to battle with and if I just show you this you can see around the base there's a variety of different statistics so you've got agility, strength, cunning, you've got skill, brains, speed, bravery and magic as you can see around there so you would roll your dice so we'll go for that and it landed face up on speed which was five for Attilak and then if we look at Mantrax speed his was 2 so obviously as you would expect Mantrax lost out to Attilak in that case so what you would then do and I hope this doesn't go wrong and spill out everywhere but you would remove the cap from the base pop out a blue skull that matched the colour of your opponent Mantrax in this case and then you could attach it to the base of your figure like that. Let me just get it the right way. This cool little skull piece. And then the objective of the, of the game was to keep rolling and keep battling and collecting skulls until you filled the character's base. Now what was really clever about this, this game, and quite a simple game, you could actually play against multiple opponents. So in theory you could have a four-way battle or a six-way battle or whatever and whoever you beat you could just take a skull that matched their colour and place it onto your stand and when you bought one of the hero gladiators it came in a pack with two sort of flags standards if you want to call them that and I'm lucky enough to own most of the original standards from the figures that I purchased or I collected as a child and you can see the skulls were just pulled off and then placed into the base of the um, the rolling unit. So these really, really have a strong place in, in my childhood. Um, not many people tend to know about these, or they might have had a few of them back in the day and forgot about them, but really, really cool items to own, and the fact that you can actually battle with them makes them even better. I mean, if I just grab a few more and bring them close to the camera, you can see here, Locksaw. And each character, as always, has strengths and weakness within their attributes. You've got this guy here, Jazrax. And just grab one more really, really quickly. This one here, this grey knight character called 
Gengar, by the looks of it. Not to be confused with the Pokemon of the same name, of course. But yeah, great figures, great memories for me, and maybe some of you guys have got some of these hidden in your loft somewhere, so if you have, get them out. And actually, they sell for a little bit of money on eBay too, if that's your thing. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.